I'm going to show you how to do subtraction by counting backwards on a number line. So after children have learned how to count backwards on their fingers and they know their number bonds, that are numbers that add together to make 10, we can then teach them slightly more efficient methods of being able to calculate numbers in their head. And this is where the number line becomes useful. And we're going to take this as an example. So we have 82 take away 36. So I start by writing 82 over on the right hand side. because I'm going to be subtracting, I'm going to be taking away. And we want to keep the numbers in the order that the children are used to. In other words, the smaller numbers are usually on the left and we are used to counting on to bigger numbers on the right. So when we're counting backwards, we have the bigger number on the right, we count backwards to smaller numbers on the left. So starting with 82, I then draw my number line. And I'm going to take away 36, which is made up of 30 and 6. So I'm going to do that in stages. First thing I do is take away 30. Which gives me 52. Here my number bond knowledge is useful, because I'm now going to take away 6. But rather than count backwards on my fingers, I can do this much more quickly in my head in two stages. I can start by taking away 2, which will give me 50, and then I take away 4, and again my knowledge number ones tell me that 4 goes with 6 to make 10. So my answer is 46, okay, because 50 take away 4 leaves me with a 6 in the units column, and I know that because I've learned my number bonds, okay, and the answer is 46. This is a very useful method to teach children to get them used to subtracting in their head. Um, later on, they won't have to actually write a number line, they can actually visualise that in their minds. But it's a really useful tool early on for teaching them how to subtract um, in their heads. We tend to teach them how to count backwards first. Okay, there's another method where you can subtract by counting on, which I'm going to show you next, in the next clip. But we tend to count backwards first because that makes more sense to the children. They get used to the fact that subtraction is taking away, okay? taking numbers away and counting backwards. So that's how you use a number line to subtract by counting back.